Mr. G with the weather. This is the WB11 News at 10. A blast of winter buries parts of Long Island under a foot of snow, and this unusual storm isn't done with us yet. Well, good evening, everyone. For most of the day, it looked like this winter storm was being very selective. That's right. While the storm pounded parts of Suffolk County, most of the tri-state area didn't see a single flake. But that is changed tonight. The back end of that storm has now moved west into the city. You're looking right now at a live picture that's high above Manhattan. These snowflakes began falling a few hours ago. They've been coming down really steadily ever since. It's made the roads slick in spots. Drivers should be, of course, very cautious. But this is nothing compared to the battering that areas of Long Island have been taking all day long. Our Long Island correspondent Frank Cusciato is live right now in plain view with the very latest on this taste of winter. Frank? Heidi, you're absolutely right. The weather today has been extremely erratic here out on the island. In fact, it's just blowing around now, a light snow. Behind me here on the expressway, traffic's moving well, no icy spots. But I can tell you, we drove through quite a snowstorm earlier in the day out on the east end where this storm is affecting a lot of people. The nor'easter began blowing through the towns and villages of Suffolk County's East End overnight, and by the time Carrie Griffiths and his son got up this morning to plow out this Amagansett school, there was already two to three inches of snow on the ground. When I got up 5.30 this morning, we had to make a decision to close the school, and, I, and it's an area thing. Once the other schools started closing, we decided to close also. We need a hat <laughs> and buttons. And further east, we found these teenagers who had the snow day off from school building a snowman. We all did one, one layer. There's four of us, we did, we did one layer each. As we drove further towards Montauk Point, the weather became quite severe with blizzard-like conditions. The roads became treacherous to drive on, but it didn't keep everyone off the roads. Good folk! And it didn't take away from the picture postcard quality of the winter wonderland the storm had created all around us. We're 10 stories up here in the Montauk Lighthouse in the lens room, as you can see. And we're looking at the weather instruments for the weather outside. And they tell us that the winds are gusting up to 45 miles an hour out there. And the wind chill factor is minus 2 degrees at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. A little later on in the afternoon, it really got nasty out here with winds kicking up to more than 55 miles an hour. And as you can see, the snow drifts were nearly burying me up to the knee. Every place that we plow, we have to go back and replow because it's drifting uh, between this amount of snow and the wind. Uh, everything is drifting back again. But believe it or not, the lighthouse was still open for people to tour. If they were brave enough to, co to come to, uh, through, this, uh, through the elements here, we would open the door and uh, have them come through the museum. Meanwhile, as the plows pushed through Montauk, people were stocking up at the market. And perhaps these kids had the best idea. <laughs> to ride out the snowstorm the old-fashioned way on a rubber tube sleigh. I'll tell you, everybody has been affected by this snow out here tonight, including Billy Joel, who had to cancel his Meadowlands concert tonight because he lives out on the South Fork of Long Island. Reporting live from Plainview, I'm Frank Uciardo. Now back to Jim in the studio. All right, Frank, thank you very much. This late winter blast has covered parts of Connecticut with nearly a foot of snow. Many children had the day off from school, and uh, as you can see, they dealt with that situation pretty well. People on the streets, though, having just a little bit less fun. Secondary roads across Connecticut are snow-covered and slippery. The highways are in better shape, but drivers should take it slow. Winter is also making itself felt in the rest of New England, even more so. New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island could all see up to two feet of snow before the storm ends tomorrow.